Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, sacred star blessed guardians of the light. As we move through this eclipse gateway, the total eclipse of the heart is being removed and the solar portal is being released from all control mechanisms. Through our ascension process over the last years, all sentient beings have been going through a type of vetting process from the Great Spirit and Company of Heaven. All hearts and minds have been weighed and measured in authenticity to determine those of benevolence and compassion to be the leaders and teachers of the new earth. All nefarious entities and corrupted ones must return to source for rehabilitation, clearing and cleansing for the healing and transformation of the collective consciousness. This is the time where the meek, the pure and kind ones shall inherit the earth. In the evolution of consciousness, we reach the pinnacle of unity consciousness as galactic citizens for our reunions in the light. Our tribes, higher beings, and star nations will reunite in a collective mission to consciously co-create the utopia of the new heaven upon the new earth. It is time to remember who you are, all aspects of your multidimensional self and true origins. The veils of separation are lifted to remove the amnesia from the eyes of the spirit to come to know all things. This time of prophecy has come to fruition now. It is time to reap what we have sown. Congratulations, this is a time of celebration, of the gifts of the Holy Spirit as we move into the full manifestation of the victory of the light. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I'm Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer for the new moon total solar eclipse in aries and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light Valerie A. Elster. Profound timeline merging of two very close ones we have been navigating for the past three years. New frameworks running. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Jennifer Catron. Gates wide open, higher directives leading the way. Only purity passes through. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Celia Fenn. 8th of April, new moon in Aries and total solar eclipse. Wow, what an energy. Here in Cape Town, we have had the mother of all storms for the past two days. First gale force winds and fires, and then torrential rains. There is no doubt things are in motion on many levels. The tree of life is sending out a new template for the new consciousness. The earth is being cleansed and renewed. I feel the presence of the water dragons and the whales and dolphins very strongly as they weave new songs and new energies around the planet. We are entering a new time where we are led by the feminine principle of flow and creation from the heart and guarded and protected by the masculine principle from the heart. Have a sacred and wonderful day, everyone, especially of those of you in North America as you transit the solar eclipse. From CeliaFen.com 144 Flowing In And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Mary Costello, 1144 Coming to Full Integrity Integrity is honor in all dimensions. Dimensionality is ending. Our one eternal self is forming, and this integrity is inevitable. Honor is guaranteed. We are being reborn through clarification of the eternal self. Within the magnetic embrace of Golden Mother, our essence is being gathered and formed in honor to our golden soul, crystalline rebirth, light body rebirth, within the aqualine waters of First Mother. The moment is here. Such peace, harmony comes from this. 
the first step of creation of worlds, and from divine sister of the light aura 444, happy total solar eclipse, blue ray is anchoring eclipse energy, bringing in the codes of creation. May you harmonize to who you are, as archons tried to deceive you of your truth. It is time to resurrect yourself in bravery, trust, love, and unity within. This will give a big push to get humanity out of the victim and into justice, healing, empowerment, peace, and love. Let's go. As activations happening on the high heart to give courage for souls to be in full expression of their light, chest tightness, shortness of breath, and some will feel lightheaded. Breathe in the light that is magnetizing now. Allow to center in the now and feel your heart expand to unconditional acceptance and love. These are the highest frequencies outside of peace and those energies bring peace. Everything that comes into your orbit is based on a vibrational match on frequency. Everything starts from within. And today from Divine Sister of Delight, Master Lady Kara Ra. Turn around, gaze at the mirror and soar. Today, April 8th, as the solar eclipse faces the new moon. We are all flowing through this moment of potentiality calling forward the limitless expansion of the polarities. This arc of visibility was directed towards Central and Northern America and this potentiality for just so many reasons. Tonight, let us call forward the gift of the arc of visibility through the balanced witnessing from the Divine Master within that is here for you, right now. The male energy is in the void with the feminine. Facing each other within you, what are you noticing? All the past wounds, emotions, thoughts and beliefs are gazing at you. Who are they seeing? In the knowing of the Divine Mastery alchemical shift, what is seeking to entrap that which emerging is new to pattern after the old? Rise above and gift yourself with seeing beyond judgment. As we all sail through the moment of time, through the Trinity cycle, that eclipses it all. Discover within your own void that which you have been hiding from yourself and that which you are ready to be. Dance, laugh, scream, and cry if you must. Then celebrate this now moment is here. From SriAndKara.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shay from Numbers by Shay Numerology. 4824 For those who seek self-awareness, Today brings to light what was previously unseen, unknown, or unexpressed. It goes after secrets, heart's desires, deep-seated fears, magic, and fantasy. Even though 2024 carries a very grounded element, we can't forget the veiled, the obscure, the mysterious, and the concealed. What lies within can be more powerful than the obvious exterior. Today is dynamite. Perfectly harmless on the surface, but with the potential to break things wide open. This is not something to be afraid of, but to be celebrated. If we do not release what has been repressed, we risk stagnating in a prison of our own making. You deserve so much better than that. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Laura Hazel. Eclipse Day Update Based upon what I have seen from others and what I have observed within my own body, many are experiencing huge influxes of energy through the crown chakra with this cosmic eclipse passage. It is important to relax fully into your body to allow this energy to pass all the way through the central column of your energy field. Because the energy is associated with the throat chakra, associated with blue ray for most people are a big theme at this time consciously relaxing the tissues of the neck will be key in allowing the cosmic light influx to move down into the heart the energetic core of our personal sphere of consciousness when the body is bombarded by external stimuli particularly from artificial frequencies via some form of technology and or it is otherwise stressed the bundles of nerves at the back of the neck and up into the head may come into a state of overdrive. This often causes all of the other tissues in the head, neck, and shoulders to tighten. 
greatly reducing the cerebrospinal flow and therefore our overall energy flow, preventing any higher energies we may be receptive to from moving below these areas and forcing them to accumulate above the heart level. It only takes a moment to consciously relax the musculature of the neck and shoulders and to visualize this energetic influx moving down your core. You will definitely feel it happening. It is important to stay in this flow today. Regardless of who is having a live eclipse special, now is not the time to be engaged with technology for an extended period of time. It is time to get your feet on the ground and tap into the bigger picture in full harmony with the organic whole in order to hold the highest space possible for humanity and this planet. Many should be getting a big download in regards to the expansion of our higher purpose upon this planet with specific instructions on how we can best deliver that which only we can deliver to humanity as we each came here with our own unique gifts and energy signatures. We are not going to be very receptive to them if we are tapped into someone else's content on the internet. There are always replays if it feels pertinent. Today you do you. Once this cosmic download has fully inundated your heart, it is very easy to visualize it moving from your heart down through your lower chakra centers and into the earth. Once again you will know without a doubt when you are successful because you will feel all of the tissues below your heart level relaxing into these blissful frequencies. And as both this cosmic light influx and your own higher purpose are anchored into the earth, you will feel Gaia's immense gratitude for your service. See you on the other side. With great love from Hazel and the Cosmic Resonance team. From CosmicResonance.org And today from Divine Brother of the Light, Sean Caulfield. Eclipsing time, transcending, ascending faster and faster. Multidimensional solar eclipsing, connecting to the primordial beginning, aligning with the divine beings of the creation of cosmic time, and with the cosmic dragons of high vibrational love and their fire of universal truth. From the light of the sun, the shadow of the moon is on earth now, eclipsing across the USA, 8th of April 2024, 9 deaths, transformation, and rebirth enjoy the vibrations through humanity creation is gradually creating earth as a portal of universal peace and the archetypal forces of nature of source are at work through our inner light shining us bright transmuting and transcending our light higher and higher it can be understood that everything in creation is connected like on spider's web the whole universe is one web Nothing is separate from this. The universal story of time is coded to play out to the memory of the one infinite universal web of great mystery. Hence in the beginning of all beginnings of the infinite universe, the great mystery dreamed and conceived itself into becoming. The becoming is evolving and growing its intentions to be one light of pure source truth unto itself. These intentions emanate from the axis of the universal tree of life and are specifically guiding everything according to a divine plan. Hence nothing is random. Everything serves a purpose and is perfect as it is. The imperfection is perfect. The Creator thus wrote the script of the story of creation and in it seated itself with universal memory to unfold with purpose and to a divine cosmic schedule. We chose and we were chosen to be here on earth and it is the ultimate honor to contemplate the consequences of which is to harmonize earth with universal love and peace. With the high vibration entering now to transform our world, it is time to let go the separation of the immature conditioning in our mind and surrender to the memory in the heart. It is time to plant seeds of forgiveness, hug each other and embrace our differences. Ultimately, we are one humanity in diversity. Universal peace exists on the highest frequency. The highest frequency transcends the lower dense frequency. 
If not aligned with the highest frequency, the lower dense frequency keeps on hooked into the dualism of separation. It is the immature imprints of dualism that has separated our world, yet it is all part of a paradox that serves a purpose. The purpose is to allow the individual soul to learn through its discernment of the choices dualism brings. So in this regard it makes sense to choose a mature pure imprint on dualism. This imprint would thus be sacred and serve creation's highest good. In other words, not taking away from creation, but complementary to creation. The divine timing of the universe is in resonance with the sacred path and the source creator's will. The timing codes synchronize with the memory of evolution. The memory of the universe has thus been programmed with divine intentions, and we are made of the memory of these intentions. Our light is hence seated with the memory that has intended the evolution of creation, from its primordial beginnings, from seed to mature fruit. The seed to mature fruit process of the growth of the world tree exists in creation's ascending light codes. Understood in the precise quantum timing system of the nine-level Mayan calendar pyramid, each level is a time scale that from the bottom up condenses by twenty times, and this creates the feeling of time acceleration. Everything has accelerated to a very high degree, and we are all being affected. For example, when the eighth level was activated on the 5th of January, 1999, time accelerated twenty times faster than the seventh level. What happened in roughly twenty years happened in 360 days. And then when the ninth level was activated on the 9th of March 2011, what happened in 360 days happened in 18 days. And then when the time waves all completed on the 28th of October 2011, everything converged to a precipice. At this meeting point, it can be understood that time had transcended all its limits to accelerate consciousness to exist faster than it could think. Hence the speed of light was transcended. To cope, the speed of our thought and our mind converged with the memory of the heart, and by this we transcended the immature imprints of duality. And today from divine sister of the light Zahara Celestial, Eclipse Channeled Information, the source energies are being upgraded. This includes the core source codes of water on Gaia. For light is source as is water. Powerful upgrades, activations to water in our bodies, this is core to our very being. My guide suggested we place a glass bowl of water on the earth, and with any blessings, prayers for healing release for general or specific beings. It is suggested that you then take this water to a place on earth to release these codes and or go to places of water and honor your body with the body of water which is part of source gaia kundalini energy of gaia will be intensified and will be focused on the heart of gaia which is based in avalon anchored in glastonbury core to this kundalini energy will link into the red and white waters that meet at the base of glastonbury tor there will be other centers around Gaia where the Kundalini energies will be focusing on at this gateway. This was the key one which they told me about. This is why there has been days of stormy weather here in UK which has been clearing and cleansing. To remember, we are part of the ecosystem of the earth and how we are feeling emotionally also reflects on the atmosphere and elements around us. We are moving between time where Gaia and all that is held within her sacred body is in the source zone, liminal time between time, of infinite possibilities. There are always infinite possibilities, but this is like a reset on a grand cosmic scale, a cosmic pause of breath. Because of this moving out of time, we have this gateway to shift out of the old linear pathway timelines, and we can release so much. There is this space to be, to reflect, surrender and flow with these energies. 
Eclipses will focus intention, so it is recommended to allow time to be still and breathe. Be silent, meditate. Finally, it is advised to ground as the energies are intense. And we have choice how to focus this powerful gateway for the highest intentions. We each are keys and hold keys to this gateway, Zahara. And from divine sister of the light, Natalia Elba, beloved ones, today we are immersed in the solar eclipse energies, which will remain in our earth plane for months. Frequencies my guide shared are going to support us in the monadic activation phase that many are immersed in, a phase that we entered at the beginning of the year and that now is reaching its peak. In an eight universal year, on day eight, many ascending souls who are consciously reconnecting themselves with their illumined selves will feel the activation of the monadic alignment process they have been undergoing now for months. The Aries Eclipse will support us in many purposes, depending on where you are in our personal journey. However, universally, its energies are going to help us in the alignment to our unified self or I Am Presence, as many prefer to name the highest aspect of us, a communion that can only be built through the reconnection to our soul and monad. This is what Aries gives us at this time. The opportunity to realign the human self to our God self through self-empowerment and ego clearing so we can retrieve authentic sovereignty. Today, due to our previous inner work, our soul and monad are descending the light activations, wisdom and power required for us to transform ourselves and our physical lives completely. It is our choice to allow them into our being and be willing to embrace this inner shift that many are already experiencing. A new initiation within our ascension journey and the main seven phases it has that helps us achieve a new level of consciousness and with it the self-mastery required to embody our unique role within creation and move into a completely new timeline. Our planet is also being activated with its original crystalline divine blueprint starting to restore many structures and grids that were manipulated or controlled until this moment, healing reversals, geometries, and hence allowing us as well to reconnect our light portals to retrieve our original connection to other dimensions. Today is also a key passage for the blue rays working on planetary unification, which as I shared a month ago is connected to Australia's Uluru portal the unifier portal, an aboriginal sacred space that is connected to Andromeda and all of our earth timelines. It is a passage to consecrate ourselves to our souls and God self, allowing their will over ours, remembering that we came here to act as light pillars in service to all. And that begins by allowing God's will in everything we do. For when we allow alignment, we allow the wisdom that can guide us to assist where we need to be next. I wish you all a loving and revealing passage, beloveds, with an infinite love from NataliaAlba.com. And today from Divine Brothor of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. The Total Solar Eclipse, Monday, April 8, 2024, Closing the Eclipse Corridor. Dear friends, today's total solar eclipse marks the official closure of the eclipse corridor that opened on March 25, 2024 with the lunar eclipse. As millions of people around the world connect today with the solar eclipse, we are creating an important energetic momentum for individual and global transformation. The light codes of this eclipse passageway will be working within us for months to come. The assimilation of this eclipse passageway information will continue taking place intensively in our energetic fields this whole week. However, the physical manifestation of these changes into our realities may take a while depending on each individual's journey. Throughout this eclipse corridor, you may have received information that is already triggering inner shifts and recalibrations within your systems. That said, 
With Mercury still in retrograde motion, it would be advisable to keep meditating and pondering on any big changes and decisions until the end of the month. Give yourself a few weeks to truly feel and embody and feel confident about the shifts you want to make on your journey. The next eclipse quarter will take place later in the year, opening on September 17th, with a partial lunar eclipse and closing on October 2nd with an annular solar eclipse. All eclipse corridors are energetically connected and create a grid of energetic transformation through time and space around the planet. Personal issues you may be releasing and healing at this time may find a new opportunity for deeper processing from a different perspective later in the year. Our human evolutionary journey continues. The upcoming full moon on April 23rd in the sign of Scorpio will bring an extra wave of passion and tenacity to enact the changes triggered by this eclipse corridor. Stay tuned for more updates as the energies roll in. Happy Eclipse Day and Eclipse Corridor Closure. Much love. We are one. From DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. A very deep clearing is happening now in all clogged energy lines and fields, as I was shown last night. The intergalactic fleet are doing immensely important work and in such numbers as I have never witnessed before. Huge dark mass is being released. We are at the time of no return, yet every soul's own free will and choices will determine each soul's ultimate future self. The here and now is determining this. All is love, keep in the heart space, inner peace and pure love. The golden age is manifesting in the here and now. Miracles are happening. From JudithKusel.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code. The solar eclipse is opening the portal to divine love. You are safe to drop the shield around your heart and continue healing. This includes security and protection for your family. Today's alignment is opening the doorway of expansion that will not only provide prosperity for your family, but also put in a position of service where you can give back bigger and better for the greater good of all. You are in the process of grounding in and accessing these potentials that are unfolding. More information is revealing itself to assist you in accessing this divine blueprint you are destined to embody. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144GodCode.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Ra James. Happy Aries New Moon Solar Eclipse. It's time to shine. New moons are a time for recharging and manifesting. We also have a rare Chiron, Kazimi. This is bringing up old past life and childhood wounds for healing. Expect past wounds, vulnerabilities, and fears to be spotlighted during this eclipse. You should be seeing the narratives and storylines that are going back to and connected to old childhood wounds. We are in Mercury retrograde. It's like a cosmic timeout where we are meant to stop everything and to reflect on our past actions and decisions. This eclipse is all about relationships. It's all about how and who we are connecting with. It's all about coming home to ourselves. You can't ever really be in balance with another until you can be whole within yourself. It's all about healing any lack, imbalances, and need for codependency within yourself. Expect this alignment to stir up deep, buried, emotional, physical, and spiritual wounds. It's all about healing these past hurts. Expect new beginnings, self-discovery, and profound healing. Expect these energies to shift you closer to your destiny. Eclipses are a time where karma, fate, and destiny lead the way. It's important to surrender to the cosmic flow of energies. Eclipses are times for realigning the threads of destiny. You are cutting the cords with connections from the past. It's a time for aligning with destined connections. There is so much magic in the air. Make sure that you're using it for manifesting. From SparksofDivineLightHealing.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light Meg Benedict. 
Monday's spectacular ring of fire solar eclipse is generating buzz in the collective. This is a rare celestial treat indeed. The field is alive with anticipation. The path of totality starts at 10 a.m. Pacific time and spreads northward from Mexico, Texas, all the way up to Canada. The Aries North Node eclipse amplifies on steroids the passing of a threshold, a gateway, a hurdle, or any obstacles in the way of new growth and expansion. A new moon eclipse initiates new cycles, new beginnings, new endeavors. In Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, representing the individual self, it has been an intense passage, noticeable to sensitives dialed into the field. For many it may feel like passing through the eye of the needle. What does not serve will shed away. Take extra self-care during this event, it may be challenging to the human self. Monday's solar eclipse spotlight in Aries illuminates and reveals outdated perspectives, identities, insecurities, false personas, or unhealthy habits. The human self is submerged in the Aries refiner's fire. This may be bringing up hidden unconscious egoic patterns and behaviors that you need to let go. Additionally, the solar eclipse joins Chiron, the wounded healer, at 19 degrees Aries. It is a powerful cosmic reminder for self-reflection and honest analysis of what does not reflect true self. Chiron, an exact degree of the eclipse, emphasizes the path of self-healing that is essential to achieving soul embodiment. For those dedicated to healing core wounds these past years, this new moon solar eclipse initiates a new cycle, a new timeline of deeper soul essence and fulfillment. For those yet to start the healing process, this eclipse Chiron alignment can trigger a healing crisis. Passing the solar eclipse in Aries is the mother of dragons, Comet 12P, Pons Brooks. The near-Earth comet will hang northeast of the eclipsed sun, visible with binoculars or possibly the naked eye during totality. What a fortuitous visit during the year of the dragon. Passing so close to the eclipse in Aries adds a galactic element to this rare gateway event. Wishing you a magical eclipse journey of epic proportions. From NewEarthCentral.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light Maureen Moss. Clearly, we are on the fast track to our liberation as more and more consciously step out of the linear timeline during this profound month of April. Having been expressed in numerous ways, the astrology of April is being heralded as the most impactful and transformative cosmic event of 2024. Throughout this month, we find ourselves in the most powerful concentration of God source energy since 2017, particularly during the four plus minutes of the total solar eclipse on April 8th when we shall be downloaded with a purpose-driven, upgraded electrical currents into our physical bodies to assist in our transfiguration and glorification. The times, coherent and rarefied, are offering us a blank slate to rekindle our relationship to life, to who we truly are, and merge fully with our cosmic, galactic, angelic, divine soul and high heart. All as one are naturally in collaboration with multidimensional Christed unity consciousness and well-being of Gaia and humanity. Earth is the last planet to go through a transformation of this caliber from a third-dimensional planet moving fully into a fifth, sixth-dimensional consciousness. As the Earth's consciousness shifts, our entire universe will transform and move into a higher state of God consciousness. According to the law of one, each need aligned to a higher principle, frequency, to be ready for entering new realms of consciousness. The energies we experienced on the dates similar to this year have all led up to this time in our human history. A time when history is ordained to never repeat itself, and we in human form are afforded the opportunity to never repeat our limited lives as it has been for eons of time. In this year of 2024 and in this month of April, and on the day of the total solar eclipse, the planet is going to experience an amplification of both chaos and order, 
Order shall be for those who are all in on transforming their relationship to being alive, being present and transcending the personal egoic dimension we have been living in for eons. Throughout this time as well, we shall experience further intervention of the Pleiadian, Syrian, and Arcturian star systems as we reach the maximum amount of intervention and acceleration codes we are able to initiate an enlightenment phase of the divine heart of collective masters, Arcturians. Going forward, we are also going to see enlightenment quietly blazing out of hearts, minds, eyes, and conversations as more and more leave the human condition and end the often painfully self-centered relationship to the human experience. We, the deeply invested ones, are here on earth now, willing and able to let the past be over, as it simply makes no sense to do otherwise, and become responsible for being guardians of sacred consciousness. In closing a blessing from St. Germain, Out of the fullness of thy heart, thy great glorious, mighty I am presence, we accept this day for these divine children of earth, the fullness of this cosmic outpouring into every heart here. O oh, thou glorifying, expanding, electrifying presence of all life energy within each one, radiate through these beloveds of thy heart until everywhere they move. They are glorified, being in action. Have a blessed eclipse, everyone. Love, blessings, and grace to all. From MaureenMoss.com and today from Divine Angel of the Light, Era of Light, April 8th, 2024, Transcending Timelines. Greetings to you from heart to heart in this moment we speak. I am Kairaj. You are readying for another timeline jump that is offered through the energies of this eclipse of April 8th, 2024. A grand opportunity is before you for attuning yourself more to the frequencies of the fifth dimension. All events unfolding in your unique reality during the following eclipse are a reflection of your own vibrational frequency, and you can change that in an instant. A solar eclipse amplifies the energies coming in and the energies you already hold, offering the best time for swift change on a personal as well as collective level. This is bringing an acceleration in the further awakening of humanity. This is a time for releasing more of that which no longer serves the path you have chosen. You will see things resurface and brought to your awareness for healing, for realizing the lessons in those experiences and rising as you release more of the old ideas, thought forms, and habits. The amplified light with this eclipse allows a deeper purging of old energies which have remained in your DNA and different parts of your being. Pay attention to the energies and triggers that may come up during this time. You may choose to review past events in your life with the intention of gaining a deeper understanding without dwelling in those energies for too long. Then return to the now and see how far you have come, how much you have grown on this journey. You are to undergo through an immense upgrade during the days leading to and after the eclipse emerging with higher aspects of yourself, with a greater expansion within the heart and the mind. We would ask that you spend 15 to 20 minutes in meditation and solitude, in the days leading to and after the eclipse, simply tuning into the light within and relaxing there, as you breathe from the area of your heart center. This will assist in realigning you and opening yourself up to the galactic energies of healing and greater awareness. In the outer realms you may see what appears as more of the same. We assure you it is not as such. The dark has lost their stronghold. For if it were still in control, things would be very different, much worse on earth at this time. The agents of the dark will continue to use their main weapon, which is the media, for generating more fear and chaos. It is mainly through movies and the media that they program their desired timelines into the consciousness of the collective, in hopes of using the collective's energies to make manifest their low vibrational realities. 
This is why it's important to be in a state of love and joy. Observe the outer events from a neutral standpoint and understand that it is just another phase of the process that is passing. The third dimensional structures which are collapsing now are due to the change in the collective's energy. Realizing the insignificance of these organizations and layouts of the old systems, you will see events unfold which may convince many that the dark is still becoming stronger. This is another part of the illusion. You must not give in to that fear, for as you are shifting towards a fifth dimensional consciousness, what is understood as power changes in every way. The first being you realizing your sovereignty which most of you hearing this have done so. While the dark continues its games in the matrix plane, it still cannot maintain the power it once had. For resistance will continue to grow by those who remain in the third and lower fourth dimensional consciousness, and those who have chosen the path towards the fifth dimension are no longer in that vibrational frequency, as those who are still hoping for the old world conditions and way of life to remain. We ask that you take care of your physical vessel as well, for it is going through much change. Eat and drink water when you feel the need for nourishment, spend time in nature, and most importantly, meditate and give yourself time to rest. You are transitioning from a carbon to crystalline-based body form, with the further activation of your DNA. In turn, this will bring forth your fifth dimensional abilities for quicker manifestation, more synchronicity, always conscious of your thoughts and actions, and deeper alignment with your soul self, becoming more of who you are in essence as you transcend the timelines of duality. This is the time to allow more of your divinity to spring forth from within your heart. Open yourself up to the love that you are. Speak from the heart with gentleness and humility. Share what you can in guidance and in abundance when invited to do so. You are standing at the doorstep of the new reality of love and oneness, for you have chosen and realized this within your own being. All the light to you, from eraoflight.com. And today from Ascension Lightworkers to the Ascension Lightworker Collective. The solar eclipse on April 8, 2024, carries a unique hybrid energetic nature that sets it apart from previous celestial eclipse events. This rare planetary alignment creates a powerful vibrational energy signifying profound and intense incoming change designed for collective transformation. Solar masculine energies activate for energetic action to take place to introduce new opportunities and beginnings. Prepare for a global shift, symbolizing a total energetic reset. This eclipse signals faded endings and wipes the energetic slate clean, paving the way for fresh new beginnings and the manifestation of higher conscious timelines. The energies of this eclipse are deeply transformational, unlocking soul purpose activations, kundalini awakenings, higher heart expansions, DNA activations and upgrades, and the harmonization of feminine and masculine energies. It initiates processes of the deep astral residual clearing, the release of karmic cycles and patterns, and sudden shifts and endings alongside unexpected opportunities and breakthroughs leading to destined new beginnings. This cosmic event serves as a significant gateway to break free from karmic chains that have hindered spiritual progress. It encourages ascending individuals to confront and release emotional patterns, past traumas, and unhealthy relationships, thereby catalyzing healing, growth, and forward movement. Through recognizing triggers, making healthier choices, releasing toxic patterns, and letting go of harmful attachments, one can disrupt repeating cycles and gain valuable lessons for personal evolution and liberation. As the energy intensifies and charges up during this eclipse season, ascending individuals may experience heightened pressure and buzzing sensations amid the ongoing energetic shifts. While the darkness may seem overwhelming at times in its dualistic energy force, 
It is an amplified and heightened opportunity to confront the deeper inner shadows, to embark on an awakening journey of ascension, self-discovery, higher consciousness, and healing. Darkness will eventually have no choice but to dissipate and will no longer persist at the heightened new energy vibrations on earth. This shift signifies ascending earth becoming inhospitable to dark energies. This is the era of Aquarius ruling where love and freedom will once more reign supreme. The cleansing and clearing of external matrix energies during this transformational phase is a deep purging and releasing process of collapsing old paradigms in the mind, body, heart, soul, and spirit, allowing for purification, detoxification, release, and healing. In this soul solitude state, an internal metamorphosis, ascending individuals are called to stand alone and learn how to protect their energy amidst the chaotic outer world denser energies. Self-healers are powerful alchemists, masters at transmuting internal pain into inner sovereign strength and power, wounds into deeper healing and wisdom, toxic relations into healthier boundaries, and past burdens into divine blessings. Being an ascending soul, while challenging, also activates the gift of embodying higher values such as solitary reflection, peace, wisdom, deep empathy, human compassion, and profound love, transcending materialistic and ego-driven pursuits for a peaceful, sovereign, and soulful existence. Globally, a significant shift is underway as many ascending transition into much higher timelines and parallel realities. Amidst Earth's profound movements, ascending individuals may feel challenged or invisible and unseen in the 3D matrix collective. As the old timelines here in old earth nears its end, ascending souls are increasingly aware of this major energetic shift occurring on earth, signaling a remarkable accelerated transformation and awakening on a global scale. Ascending starseeds and lightworkers may be feeling emotionally low recently due to heightened sensitivity and connection to collective changing energies. As starseed souls collectively awaken to more disconnect from the 2 to 3D matrix, they undergo an extreme and profound shift in reality. They may also experience absorbing denser collective energy. It is beneficial to always discern and release energies that do not belong to ascending self. This helps grounding into the support of Earth new conscious energetic grids. Releasing negative energies not aligned with divine love and seeking guidance from your ascension light team will shield you from unwanted lower energies. Your body is upgrading to align with new encoded and quantum information. Releasing the older and denser energies to strengthen the molecular and cellular structure. Practice gentleness with yourself during inner changes and major upgrades. Embodying higher energies supports your needs as energy is the true currency of the new earth. Trust in your inner abundance and release limitations linked to old belief systems. The shifting tides may bring external distortions, but inner expansion and peace will help anchor you into new earth realities and contribute to shifting collective consciousness. Before a major shift in your life, it's common to feel like everything is falling apart as the old aspects of yourself and your surroundings need to leave to make energetic space for the new. This transition into the unknown can at times trigger feelings of vulnerability, insecurity, and anxiety. However, by remaining consciously aware of this process, you will navigate through it and stay aligned with higher conscious timelines allowing the dissipation of these challenging emotions as you move forward and ascend higher. In New Earth Energy, you, you are reclaiming your divine birthright, your authentic inner power to increase ascension energies within and align with your higher self and purpose. This is another amplified ascension opportunity taking place to harness and accelerate planetary energy and to create a higher vibrational reality for ascending self, remembering that everything is energy, 
and continuing learning to work with these energies will lead to personal and collective transformation and loving and devoted ascension service from ascension light workers and today from divine sister of the light ruby falconer april eighth twenty twenty four new moon solar eclipse at aries nineteen degrees twenty four minutes two twenty one p m e d t this powerful total solar eclipse visible in much of the eastern united states is defined by an exact to the minute conjunction of chiron to the sun moon alignment mercury is retrograde in aries and an exact within three minutes conjunction to eris goddess of strife and discord mars and saturn and pisces are conjunct within one degree and the potent jupiter uranus conjunction in taurus exact april twentieth twenty first is in effect these aspects are incredibly intense yet oddly hopeful aries is the first sign of the zodiac and holds the promise of a new beginning in the language of shamanic egyptian astrology the ally of aries is kephra the morning sun this energy is spontaneous enthusiastic insistent and confident its message is a loud and assertive i am chiron is allied with anubis in his adult form as shower of the way this is the wise soul who experienced abandonment and found a way to release his pain and align with his soul's path. This is a core lesson of life on earth. We have all experienced rejection, abandonment, and betrayal. The question isn't whether this will happen, but rather how will we respond? Do we live from our wounds, or do we find a way to move through them? Do our wounds define us, or do we define our response to our wounds? as a collective we are in a challenging place in our evolutionary development we can continue as we are and suffer the consequences or decide to create a different world these are not idle words and it's also not magical thinking this transformation will not be easy we may not succeed and right now despite the tumult all around us there are hopeful signs we can heal we can open up to a new way of being free of the pitfalls that have cursed us for so long. Take a deep breath and step out of the portal and into the light. From shamanicstarology.com And today from Sovereign Harmony Astrology, Total Solar Eclipse, 19 degrees Aries, Monday, April 8th, 1121 AM PDT. This much-anticipated total solar eclipse will be visible across much of the USA and it will join retrograde Mercury in Aries, April 1st through 25th, as well as Chiron in Aries, as Mars, ruler of Aries, also forms a conjunction with Saturn and Pisces. The March 25th lunar eclipse in Libra represented the opening of a release point with regards to letting go of attachments to our external dependencies, and it was followed by Mercury turning retrograde in Aries on April 1st, representing the initiation of a period of introspection into what dampens our confidence in our own internally driven independent action in life and by taking advantage of this clearing and reorganization of our confidence and motivation it is allowing the space and the resonance for a very strong push towards concentrated new beginnings that are in alignment with our highest soul level ideals rather than with any externally driven persona or ego-based intentions this relatively rapid internal shift toward authenticity may feel overwhelming and is likely to bring up the wounds that resulted in the walls that are now being eradicated which is why the external adjustments as a result of this internal upgrade will unfold more gradually over the coming weeks to months so that our humanness can more appropriately handle it haste is waste in this case on an external level despite any urges toward immediate gratification that are likely to arise within us as a result of this fire being lit underneath us both personally and collectively right now and today from divine sister of the light colleen lemma here we are on monday april eighth with the new moon total solar eclipse conjunct chiron 
ruler of past life wounds at 19 degrees Aries. This is the first eclipse in 2024 and is in the first sign of the zodiac Aries, the sign of new beginnings. Chiron, who is the shaman and wounded healer, is at the exact degree of this eclipse, bringing up old challenges and traumas to be released and aspects of ourselves that need to be reintegrated. The new moon solar eclipse is very close to the north node destiny point, currently at 15 degrees Aries. This is activating a push forward for all of us from the universe towards our true north, where we need to be and what we are spiritually contracted to experience next in our lives. Although we do have free will, we are being guided to redirect by a higher power. We may try to avoid change because of fear or anxiety, however our higher self knows the direction we are meant to go. It has been a confusing time for many, especially with Mercury, planet of information and messages, also in retrograde motion right now. But if we trust, have faith, and surrender to the divine plan, then all will unfold accordingly. It is said that this is a reset on the planet, Earth Mother Gaia and the Collective. Activations, downloads, endings, fresh starts, new timelines, waves of emotions, and heightened sensitivity are magnified now, and new experiences will unfold over the next six months. There may be unexpected events and shifts on our path as a realignment takes place. Ascension symptoms are strong and can include flu-like symptoms, fatigue, difficulty sleeping, headaches, digestive issues, dizziness, body aches and pains, vision issues, ears ringing, difficulty concentrating, vivid dreams, heightened creativity, enhanced psychic perceptions, sudden insights and revelations, craving more solitude, desire to be out in nature, feeling detached from situations or people, or feeling more of a sense of oneness with all things. Meditation, clearing, and releasing exercises take away from technology, solitude, nature, and all forms of self-care are especially important now. Take care of yourselves, beautiful souls. Trust that wherever you end up in the months to come is where you are meant to be. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Solar Eclipse in Aries conjunct Chiron. In the midst of the day came the night. She marched towards the sun, took bites out of his glorious face until only the dark remained. Birds hushed, stars emerged. The moon saw the work she had done, and it was good. Now the people will see, she whispered. The spotlight is on our scars. It's uncomfortable but necessary because once seen, we are whole again. When we see the light in ourselves, then we see the light in each other. We are all stars shining in the dark. Acknowledge shadows, tend to the wounds that get in the way of independence. Address psychological pain that drains energy. Confront misplaced anger that burns away motivation. Wipe the slate clean and start again. Sometimes it is only in the dark that we find the strength we never knew we had. Consider what is the special gift I can bring to the world today. How can I help? This is your chance to create the world anew. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 170, White Magnetic Dog. Magnetic is the name for the number one, and its keywords are unify, attract, and purpose. Today we begin a brand new wave spell, and this one is a 13-day adventure with an agenda of love. The first day of a wave spell is about identifying the purpose and psychically setting yourself up for the journey. Try to contemplate what you would like to achieve during this period. Every wave spell is an opportunity to learn, grow, and experience time on a different level. Unity is another key word associated with this number, and this represents that all of the days of the wave spell are united under one purpose. Today is white dog, which represents love, loyalty, and heart. The message of the white dog is, love what you do and put all your heart into it, and love your fellow humans too. Show everyone how big-hearted you can be. If you are a white dog, you will love this wave spell. 
This is a great time for getting things done with that doggy determination. Be stubborn about what you want if you want to yield real results. Loyalty is another key word for the dog, and this reminds us to think about our own loyalty issues. Who or what do you owe allegiance to? If, like a dog, you think with your heart, then you'll understand how important loyalty is. The guy today is also a white dog, and so a double helping of this teaching. The first day of a wave spell is always guided by itself. And today from Christina Papa Giorgio, White Magnetic Dog, 1 Oak, Keen 170, 8th of April 2024, Solar Eclipse in Aries, Total Eclipse of the Heart, Attracting unconditional love. 8 4 2024 20, equal 8 4 8 equal 8 12 equal 8 3 equal 11 equal 2. Day codes 8 infinite abundant source flow. 11 portal gate polarity. 2 partner twin cooperation alliances duality. Month year codes 4 form structure foundation earth angelic. 8 12 acquiring spiritual strength wisdom. 3. Holy Trinity Joy Communication Creativity 2. 20. The Awakening Clear Vision 24. Charisma Happiness Healing Joy Keen 170 equal 8. Abundance Flow Infinity 888. Holy Abundance Gate Lots of fire energy to ignite our heart's passion through this potent eclipse portal. Aries the warrior is firing his arrow to pierce the veils around our heart allowing for more love to flow on this wondrous 888 gateway, ensuring an infinite flow of love, money, resources, and wisdom from source, accessible through the magnetic center of our hearts. Keep raising your vibration and aligning with this infinite field of love to access all of your pure heart's desires during this wave spell. What a brilliant alignment of codes with the triple white dog driving the solar eclipse with Chiron conjuncting the eclipse, ensures that love is the medicine that heals all our wounds. Love is all we need. Today we are celebrating the return of heart-based consciousness on our planet. A beautiful beginning for our next chapter, uniting with our beloveds to build a new foundation through the power of love. Triple White Dog Day equal love, love, love. A beautiful new wave spell rediscovering unconditional love and our connection to Source and each other, leading into a brand new golden era of divine love. Absolutely perfecto. How the dream spell galactic calendar always synchronizes so beautifully with the celestial alignments. The divine plan has been crafted to be miraculously perfect, beyond our comprehension. The symphony of the dance between the stars, planets, and codes is absolutely superb. What a show! Waves of divine love will be flowing through our sun and radiating out to all those who with open hearts to be activated by this gift from Father, Mother, God, Goddess. How blessed are we that the triple white dog is the guardian of this eclipse passage. Dogs love to watch the sunset and the reason is because it is encoded in their DNA as the protectors of light and love on planet Earth. In Maya cosmology, the dog is an animal totem who guides the nocturnal sun, jaguar, during its night passage through the underworld of Shibalba in order to ensure the next sunrise, which represents the resurrection of the sun. The Maya believe that the sun died in the sunset and that it entered the Shibalba underworld as a jaguar, nocturnal sun. The archetypal Maya dog is the guide of the nocturnal sun, and it helps to bring the next sunrise. The dog also guides the dead humans in Shibalba, in order to ensure their passage towards the thirteen heavens. Tortuga, 1320. How absolutely brilliant the oak, the white dog of the dream spell is on guard to perform his duty during these evolutionary times. There has been too much hype and fear, false evidence appearing real over this particular solar eclipse. Many prophecies and false narratives insisting the world would be plunged into a period of darkness. From three hours, three days, ten days, or even symbolic darkness through an internet media power blackout. 
Spirit has replied with reassurance, never fear, Oak is here, our trusty white dog, our loyal companion, and devoted servant of spirit is on the job, and will guide the sun through the darkness of the eclipse period, ensuring that the sun returns safely, and the light illuminates our skies from darkness to light. White dog has arrived at the right time and place to fulfill his destiny. God is in charge, and the light wins. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Today we commence a brand new 13-day cycle, that of the white dog, bringing forth a flow of divine source love as we return home, especially with an 888 code. Day 1 in the white dog wave spell of unconditional love, loyalty, devotion, service, friendship, and faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from source love in order to be the full embodiment of love. The next 13 days we are preparing our vessel to receive and transmit more unconditional love. What a joy! Tone of creation magnetic is tone number one in the spiritual realm as we initiate a new wave spell cycle. Power attracts, action unifies, essence purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with a magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one. From out of nothing, here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. One strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose and your mission, people, resources, relationships, money, support, and all that you can imagine. Today we are seeking to attract love and loyalty through expressing ourselves as pure source love, to align with the unconditional love of source, Father, Mother, God, Goddess. The attraction seeks to unify all as one. Thus magnetic kin have a very strong connection to source, and a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. The power of one is very strong today, as it unites us all as one humanity. This will also be the theme for this wave spell, unification through the power of love. Get ready for full heart expansion. Today's question is, how can I attract endless source love, magnetizing this through my open heart, unconditionally, to unify us all through our one heart? Divine blessings for the magnetic attraction of pure unconditional divine love, miracles and bliss bombs today. May Goddess bless you 1,000 ways in the coming days. May the miracle of this solar eclipse shine a divine light on your beautiful life. In la quête shalakin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 170, White Magnetic Dog. The mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to love, attracting loyalty. I seal the process of heart. With a magnetic tone of purpose, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Or if you'd like to help support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Catherine Elmore, for your pledge and support on YouTube memberships, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. 
I'd like to also thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Farah Miller, for another Super Thanks donation on YouTube today. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Bertha Maldonado, for another Super Thanks donation and your continued support. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you very much, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer for the new moon total solar eclipse in Aries. Divine Source of Light and Love as we stand on the threshold of the new moon, total solar eclipse in Aries, we gather together in reverence and gratitude for the celestial dance unfolding before us. With hearts open wide and spirits attuned to the rhythms of the cosmos, we offer this prayer for healing, renewal, and transformation. On this sacred day, as the moon casts its shadow upon the sun, we invoke the powerful energies of Aries, the fearless pioneer and warrior of the zodiac, grant us the courage to embrace change, the strength to overcome obstacles, and the clarity to follow our true path with unwavering determination. As the sun is momentarily obscured by the moon, may we too be willing to expose the darkness within, knowing that it is in the depths of our shadows that we find our greatest potential for growth and evolution. Help us to release all that no longer serves our highest good, whether it be fears, doubts, or limiting beliefs, and to step boldly into the light of our authentic selves. As the eclipse passage and the sun re-emerges, may we be reborn anew, like the phoenix rising from the ashes, ready to embark on a journey of self-discovery and self-realization. May we harness the fiery energy of Aries to ignite our passions and propel us forward on the path of purpose and fulfillment. May this new moon total solar eclipse in Aries be a catalyst for profound healing and profound transformation, both individually and collectively. May it inspire us to cultivate courage, embrace change, and embody the highest expression of our divine potential. In the light of the new moon total solar eclipse in Aries, we affirm our commitment to living with intention, integrity, and authenticity. May we walk with confidence and clarity, knowing that we are guided and supported by the wisdom of the cosmos. As we close this prayer, we offer our deepest gratitude to the universe for the blessings bestowed upon us. May the energy of this eclipse continue to bless and uplift us, now and always. So mote it be. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed week ahead as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.